Stephanie Santino says she used to dread this time of year. During the fall and winter months, sinus infections seemed to take over her life. There were times where just, you know, literally sitting upright, that, that pain of holding your head upright was just really intense. Like most people, Stephanie says nearly every time she went to the doctor for a sinus infection, she came home with antibiotics. But starting this sinus infection season, that's likely to change. For the vast, vast majority of people we give antibiotics, it's not really providing the benefit that we would have hoped. In fact, it's actually making things worse. Dr. Shubnoy Das is a sinus expert at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. He says up to 90% of sinus infections are caused by a virus, so antibiotics are no help at all. But for decades, doctors prescribed them anyway, and now some bacteria are becoming dangerously drug resistant. Uh, we are creating a race of super bacteria for which we will not be able to treat. To avoid that, new guidelines are in place this fall, discouraging doctors from overprescribing antibiotics. Instead, DOS says to first treat your sinus infection with an over-the-counter saltwater rinse. They can be extremely effective. However, if your face swells, you have a high fever, or your vision changes, don't ignore your sinus infection. Instead, seek medical attention early, but to go with an open mind that I'm not going expecting an antibiotic. Because chances are you may not get one. After surgery to fix her sinuses, Stephanie now swears by saltwater rinses to control the infections that used to control her. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.